Welcome to today's CT Style Express. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. The pandemic has caused people of all ages to reevaluate their lives and what they want out of them. Our guest today, author Michael Clinton, says this reflection is powerful. So powerful, he wrote a book about it. Michael, thanks for joining us. So people are referring to this time as the great pause. Could you explain how the global pandemic has impacted anyone in midlife or mid-career? Yeah, thank you. It's great to be with you today. I mean, I think what we've learned in the last 18 months is we've gone into a lot of deep thinking about are we doing the right thing? Are we doing the right jobs? Are we with the right person? Are we living the life we want to live? And I think those in midlife who are 55 or 60 and they're healthy realize that, you know, they could live another 30 years. So there's a lot of potential new living that can happen in a lot of these areas from new careers and new loves and new lifestyles. And I think there's a whole awakening. I call it a midlife awakening that there's a lot of new possibility. And so that's what this book is all about is the is the possibilities that are there for us in the second half. Yes, it really is an exciting time. And so your latest book titled Roar into the second half of your life before it's too late is out now. What was your inspiration to write this? Well, you know, one of the things I was 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 thinking about is that a lot of what's been written it was out there is about winding down. You know, when you're 50 plus, it's all about the winding down of your life. And I think we should be winding up our life. So I went out and found 40 amazing people who completely rethought their lives in their 50s and started on an exciting new journey. And then we put a lot of tools and practical tips and resources in the book as well. So that people really had a roadmap to say, how can I do this? How can I live a different kind of second life? Because we have a lot of possibilities and opportunities since we're going to be living longer in a healthier kind of way. So it was all about winding up. Yeah, this is a this is very timely with all that's going on in the world. And I know that ROAR is an acronym. Can you tell us what it means? Sure, ROAR, thank you. Is is it it's in four parts, so we wanted to make it a simple formula for people. R is reimagine what is your favorite future? You know, what do you want your next, you know, decade, two decades, three decades to look like? O is own who you are, own where you are right now. Take a brutal assessment, own your health numbers, you taking care of yourself, own your financial numbers, own your age. I like to say 60 is the new 60, 60 is not the new 40, like let's own it. Um, and own your last number, you know, go to 90 and work backwards. What, you know, what have you done? What's your legacy, your contribution? A is the action plan, and a lot of great tips in terms of how you put an action plan into place. And then R is reassess your relationships, because the people around you are the ones who are going to help you facilitate the change that you want to make in your life. So you need to build your posse around you of people who are going to lift you to move you forward and where you want to go. So it's a four-part four-part process. And Michael, I, I know that you yourself have lived many lives in this one life of yours. You're a winemaker, a pilot, a, a marathon runner. So we are, you know, we're reading and learning from the best here. What do you hope people gain from reading your book? You know, what I want people to take away from this book is that it's a new second half. There is a new script that is being written. What was handed to us is no longer relevant. Because, you know, not too long ago, you know, you retired, you lived a few years, and then you left the planet. Well, that's not happening anymore. So you've got all these possibilities ahead of you in terms of thinking of what you might want to do and where you can go. And it's really, you know, the optimism of what a second half of life can be and lots of great examples and inspirational stories that can help people get there. So that's the takeaway that I want people to have. And your book is out now. Where can our viewers go to learn more? Thanks, Natasha. You can get the book where books are sold. We're in print. We're in Audible. You can hear me read book, um, e-books, and uh, you can you know go to our website roarbymichaelclinton.com. But you know the book's out and available right now. All so, right. Yes. Thank you, Natasha. Of course, Michael Clinton. You are preparing us well for the Roaring Twenties. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great to be with you. And that is it for today's CT Style Express. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Have a great day.